What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad series review continuing the Scooby-Doo series as we talk about the sixth incarnation of the show and this is the new Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show but it's also they have the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries was 1984's version so there's two seasons, the new Scooby-Doo Scrappy-Doo show was the first season and then the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries was the second season. They actually threw Daphne back into this one so we have Daphne back in the mix along with Scrappy, Scooby, and Shaggy, so it was kind of fun. And then we have actually Fred and Velma guest starring in season two as well, coming back for a few episodes. So there's actually some fun content in this one. It's not as bad as the previous seasons with Scrappy, and I feel like the writing gets a little bit better, so let's discuss it. Let's do this. Roll it. So the new Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show, this premiered in 1983, it was also on ABC as well, and this one had two stories in the 30 minutes. So we increased the length of the stories because instead of having three shorts within 30 minutes, we have two stories. So they increased the time load of the stories, which is an improvement, and we bring Daphne back. So that's a huge improvement for me because Daphne and Shaggy are my two favorite characters in the crew, and having Daphne back, it just adds a new balance and they actually treat it a little bit differently with the writing in this one where Scrappy and Daphne are kind of like the smarter two, the more logical two, the two that actually get the dirty work done and then you have Shaggy and Scooby and that's your kind of Laurel and Hardy or like Laverne and Shirley type two characters, you know, so there's a nice balance compared to the previous season so I really do enjoy that. Also, this one has, like I said, some special guest stars and like we'll bring Fred and Velma back. When we go into the new second season, which is the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries, that's the second season and the first two episodes, they celebrate Scooby's birthday and Fred and Velma come back to help out and they tackle a mystery together. So that's, some, that's what's really cool about this one is this one does a good job of building you know, that, you know, um, third wall, like, you know, building a new element to the characters with Daphne, Fred and Velma and Scooby and Shaggy, you know, adding more nuance to them. Daphne's actually a main, main character in this one because she's trying to, like, look for mysteries in her job and write mysteries for a paper. So that's why she's taking them around and she's actually driving the mystery machine and she's very much the key part and head of the group in this version of the show. One of my favorite episodes that go along with season one in particular is there's called Scooby Geist, which is this one that very much reminds me of Evil Dead. Daphne finds a book and every time she reads from the book, stuff starts to happen from the book and Shaggy and Scooby are convinced that it's coming from it. So it has very much like Necronomicon type vibes. So I think that's really cool. That's a really good episode. There's actually another one where they take a babysitting job for Dracula and his bride and stuff and they end up having to babysit a little baby wolf, like a baby wolf man. And they're also trying to solve the mystery of Frankenstein for Daphne's, you know, magazine newspaper. So there's some really good fun episodes in this one. The theme song's okay. It's not the greatest. It's just they just basically say Scooby-Doo's name over and over and over. It's like, Scooby, scooby doo Like, it's like literally all they do. And the, the cinematography and like the shots and stuff is okay, but yeah, the theme song's nothing very memorable or anything. For season one, season two, we actually get a Michael Jackson thriller type theme song, you know, kind of intro where they kind of are actually dancing similar to thriller in the Michael Jackson, you know, music video if you haven't seen that. So that's what's kind of cool. Season two actually does have a different intro. Another fun fact about this particular seasons or these you know, two runs of the show is that these are the ones that my son actually loves watching the most. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, he likes a lot of the Scooby-Doo ones. He doesn't like pup named Scooby-Doo. For some reason, he just doesn't like them being children. And he doesn't like too much of the modern ones. But these two particular seasons are the ones that when I watch them and, like, I'm sitting down, my son actually pays attention to them, like, sits down. He's asking me questions about the villains and what's going on. So I think there's just something about the dynamic that is written for this particular two seasons that really just, you know, grabs certain people, you know what I mean? Like I said, my son is one of them. That's another awesome thing is when you think about it with this one is like how we have episodes of Dracula and actual Wolfman, like a Wolfman baby. There are episodes with actual humans too pretending to be people. So they actually added in 
uh, elements of all the ones. So Hanna-Barbera, I think they kind of took notice of that, like our formula, what we changed and we were trying to do with the previous seasons was not working. So they started throwing in elements of other seasons from past, you know, in the early 60s, early 70s to try to spice this one up. And this would in fact be the last two seasons that are involved Scrappy-Doo. After this, we get on to 13 Ghosts, which is a interesting season for sure. I can't wait to talk about this one. But yeah, this is kind of Scrappy-Doo's send-off. And I love the fact that for it being his like kind of send-off season, you know, the last season for Scrappy-Doo, like I said, they make him, they write him much better. You know, he's not as annoying, not as just you know, always getting in trouble or always do, choosing to do the wrong thing or just run into danger. He's very brave still. He's very courageous, but he has Daphne there to balance him. And like I said, them two are kind of the, the head honchos of the group in this version of the show that do most of the mystery solving. And then Scooby and Shaggy are kind of like, you know, just there for the comic relief. But they also do help, of course. You know, I love Scooby, love Shaggy, but they're, like I said, of course, more comical relief type characters. So... I love that for this being the last two seasons you get with Scrappy-Doo, they really do send him off nicely because we really did get down in the dumps with that stuff when we're talking about the Yabadoo stuff and the Puppy Hour and all that. You know, that was were awful, awful ideas. Like, I can't believe some of those got greenlit. You know, they were trying to, you know, really change things up and, you know, try a new formula, but it did not work for sure. So you can definitely tell this season these two seasons, Hanna-Barbera learned pretty quickly that they were going to kind of revamp the formula and bring some stuff back. And having Fred and Velma guest star for two-parter episodes in season two, that really helps out as well. But thanks for sticking around with me all as we discussed this episode or this incarnation of the Scooby-Doo, you know, series. It's been really fun kind of diving through all these shows because there's a lot to offer for real. Scooby-Doo shows, it's like that, like... It's like that early introduction to horror and like spooky stuff and mysteries for kids and like it always has awesome nostalgia, great callbacks and yeah, this season is really fun. I can't wait to talk about like set on to next. We're going to be talking about 13 Ghosts Scooby-Doo, which is a very interesting season that has a special guest star. We'll talk about that when we get there and we also have a pup named Scooby-Doo coming up next so be sure you're like subscribed and all that kind of stuff and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly i want y'all to have a safe and happy day peace out